This is one of four new fish passes on the River Severn. After 180 years, it lets fish make it past the weir the Victorians built. Right here, we're at Diglis. This is the furthest downstream pass and the largest weir. Upstream of here, we've built another three fish passes at Beverley, Lincoln and Holt. And we've unlocked 158 miles of habitat that has been off limits to fish for the last 180 years. A migratory fish called the shad is the key marker species for the success of the scheme. 757 went past this window under the River Severn last year. Now they're updating the automatic cameras, ready for the arrival of the shad once again in mid-April. So here we are at the bottom of the fish pass and we know the fish are using it because we've seen them go past the window in that building up there. But what about the next three fish passes as you go up the river? Well, some of the fish have been tagged and we know that some of the tag fish have made it all the way up to the bottom of the fish pass in Stourport, right at the top. But have they got beyond there? Well, they've done DNA testing of the water beyond that final fish pass, and that reveals the shad are in the river up there. So it looks like the schemes are working, but after all this effort and £20 million of money, was there a worry the shad or any other fish just wouldn't want to go further up the Severn? They might just sit here beneath the weir at Diglis in Worcester. There are always in the populations what I call pioneer fish, fish that want to push as upstream as far as they can. And it's that small percentage of the total run which are the ones we're now starting to see come up through the weirs and the fish passes that we built at the, on the navigation weirs. And if you think it's weird to focus on the shad, which is a fish most of us haven't heard of, well, if the shad are doing well, it's a sign that the river's doing well overall. The fact that they can now get up all the way up the river means that not only can their population start to recover over the coming years, but it's also going to have a really positive impact for all of the species along the river. Already thousands of baby shad are out at sea, having spawned in parts of the River Severn their ancestors haven't swum in for 180 years. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Middens Today, Worcester.